Baby. Walk in your trap and take over. over. Name another bitch that's Name cold. Another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. I got a show. Took off and they asked me. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I decided to show you guys. It's snowing. Oh, my balcony looks so cute. I need to put my shoe outside. So, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Barbie. I'm off. So, uh, as you can see, it's snowing. I'm going to turn the camera and show you guys all this goodness because it looks so good. And I want to cook. <laughs> so, as I told you guys, I don't have what to be vlogging because my classes are online and everything I do is online. I don't go out except I have to. But yeah, I love the weather. Let me show you guys. Let me get stuff and show you guys. <laughs> guys it looks so perfect like this is why i love christmas like you all don't understand my favorite holiday has to be christmas there was a time my favorite um there was a time my favorite season was winter but nah i ain't lying that this shit is cold so guys welcome back to my channel guys um i decided to do a video on like the differences between belarus and poland i love do i miss belarus <laughs> do i miss belarus and everything so i'm going to do that but i want to cook fried rice and if you're a nigerian you know that fried rice is the ultimate christmas food I've made a fried rice video on my channel before. If you have not seen it, go and watch it. But this time around, I think some things have changed, and also I'm looking into my new, my new house. So why not? Guys, I love this. It says no cold and less boring. It's like my cozy Christmas PJs house out. So yeah guys, let's go. Right now, before I started this vlog, what motivated me to stand up and vlog? I was watching the Aras channel and I was like, you know what? I don't need to put out pam pam like content because I didn't content I wanted to do. I wanted to do the difference between Belarus and Poland and a sit-down video, but I can't if I do a sit-down video that you will not watch it. Do you get me? It will be like why are you just sitting and talking to yourself? So why don't I cook and tell you guys different aspects between Poland and Belarus and what I miss about it, okay? Let's get to cooking. Guys, the amount of electricity I'm wasting to film this video because I need a light on so that I don't cast this shadow. So the first step is going to be for boiling my rice. Because I like easy cooking, guys. It's not about working hard. It's about that, that thing. And last night, I had already fried, like, grilled my chicken and I had made my stock. And I had made my stock. So like this cooking is gonna be so quick and sweet. So let me sit down and let's have a talk, okay? So I'm watching I am um, yeah, yeah cheese content and yeah I wrote down a note on my laptop here about like the differences between Poland and Belarus. These are just some points I want to remember, but I'm going to start with education education system although i don't think i'm the best to differentiate it because my bachelor's degree is different from my master's degree but 
yeah so if you don't know i'm doing master's degree in clinical psychology and one of the differences between my master's degree and my bachelor's degree i would say is not having to wear lab coats to class <laughs> hey my god <laughs> you guys might not think this is a big thing but it's a big thing for me like i get to wear what i like i get to carry a very like i can carry my phone only and go to school and that will be it so that that is a very big difference for me the second difference is that basically the lectures are very like interactive like i know that lectures were interactive in medical school but not like this like you basically have to like talk like you get it you got you got the knowledge already so that was very like beautiful for me then the assignments you have assignments and it's something i don't remember when last i had assignments but you have assignments you have to write things just it's more of writing basically testing your verbal skills and everything and it's been very fun so the next thing i wrote down here was friends guys i'm telling you that I am not I I have I have friends though but all my friends that I have I had through somebody <laughs> I am the most shy person like I'm very shy like obviously I talk to this laptop I just see my friends I'm very fun around them I'm very extroverted around people I know but around people I don't know I'm very very awkward like I told myself that I'm going to put forth a friendship like you know try to be friendly on my first day of class and i i tried but guys you know the like my friends that i made in belarus i'm still happy to them to today they will forever be my sweetheart but literally i made my friends from my best friend like every friend i've had after like my best friend brought them to me i i am uh, very very um i don't know how the word to put but i'm going to try to make friends i'm going to try to you know I don't know reach out to content creators or something I, I and then it's even harder because i'm a homebody like i'm having i don't like to go out i do not like to go out and that even brings me to the next point weather ha huh. guys the weather in this country i have to put my hands up and say Mwah. like literally like today it's snowing right trust me this is the second time i've seen snow and i'm sure by tomorrow it will vanish guys it's not that cold like the weather in belarus now is freezing but here yeah, sweetheart like let me check the weather right now is literally check out my laptop guys it's literally minus one i'm sure belarus will be like minus five and it will feel like minus ten but here it's not that cold and it's it's really nice because I feel like you can get to dress up, put on your weather outfit and just look cute. <laughs> so the weather is not that bad. Like it's not as bad as Belarus. Like, ha! Belarus, I swear those people are cold for nothing. Like unwarranted cold weather. Like your hands will be freezing, your nose will be red, my ears will be so red. Ha! But here it's not that bad it's not that bad even that friday when i went to school i was like oh let me wear my winter jacket finally i was like nah i would have actually worn like my fall jacket and i wouldn't even feel cold so the next thing is currency guys the currency in this country i don't still understand now. like i know that okay fine it took me a while to understand the currency in belarus and then like while i was understanding it they changed the currency but it's a little bit more understanding now that I have a bank application. But guys, the money in this country, things are expensive. Like things are very expensive in this country. Like it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. Like transportation on its own, like literally a taxi from my house. Like there's a shop in my house that is not far. And literally I have like a shop like obviously you know my house like when i stay in my friend's house they have this um shop that's um grocery store let me say grocery store that is not far from their house and i literally used to use taxi there like 1.2 rubles two rubles and it's literally less than a dollar 
guys <laughs> like literally one day i ordered taxi from my house to lido i wanted to get some things because it was night and little was about to close so i just ordered taxi guys little is not far from my house little is literally it is not far from my house i paid 10 rubles 10 rubles for what is it for a bar is it for Gary? Mm -mm. the things in this country are so so expensive like they are so expensive the cost of living but i understand that you know belarus is not that expensive but here is it's outrageous like it's outrageous to me like literally for example this fried rice i'm cooking now like if i was to cook it in belarus i would budget like you know 20 rubles which is like um let me say ten dollars, twenty rubles. But in this country, I can ten dollars is literally forty-seven zloty. Forty-seven zloty for fried rice. You are crazy. You are crazy. Like I had, like literally, it was like being seventy zloty to buy everything I wanted to buy. So things like that. In fact, now I've even entered food. Food is expensive in this country. It's so like. Oh, guys, the thing, I, I, like, literally, in Belarus, I could feed in a month with $100. In this country, it can never happen. It could never. Like, your feeding money has to be, like, literally feeding. Like, when I mean feeding, I mean your tissues, also your skincare, all those things. Like, you have to budget, like, $200. Like, $200. No cap. Like, no cap there. But, yeah. And then another thing is that I took so many things <laughs> that was accessible to me in Belarus for granted. Like guys, one thing that pissed me off, but now it has gotten better, but pissed me off that first time was that when I would buy chicken, the chicken wasn't properly cleaned and I would have to scrape the chicken and it, it was making me very, very uncomfortable. Like it was making me very, very uncomfortable. I wasn't comfortable with that. so. It was really hard but then it doesn't really matter because they have nigerian food stores here so i'm not complaining like literally i am not complaining but they should wash their chicken then things like shaki that i could easily go and buy and i have to order from the nigerian store but i have their card and they do home delivery so i don't mind guys the thing the next thing i wrote was skincare adjustments ah oh. You people, my skin has been skinny. Like, that's what I'm going to say. That my skin has been skinny. Like, <laughs> guys, follow me and cry. Like, when I came newly, I broke out. Do you know why I broke out? Although I've even started going back to it, I'm looking for trouble. Guys, I used to put the water from my sink. For my eyes although i drink bottled water but the fact that i like to drink cold water so my eyes has to be i love eyes like even when i'm drinking coffee in the morning or tea in the morning i love to put ice in it guys can you believe it was the eyes that was causing my skin to break out <laughs> i see my skin now it's 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 better now but like <laughs> my skin was skinning but then I now, like, I'm not complaining because here, there's every single skincare product you could need. Like, for example, when I was in Nigeria, I was using bio oil and it was so good for my skin. When I came to Belarus, I couldn't find bio oil anywhere. And when I found it, it was like 50 rubles. Guys, here I got bio oil for like very cheap. It was shat cheap. It was not up to 50 rubles. I was so happy. So that's what I've been using. I've come back to using bio oil. And my skin is back to skinny. But then, like, so many skincare products, like the one I use, they are there. Then, hair care. Guys, I cannot show you guys my hair, but this is a sneak peek. I just went in for it yesterday. I'm transitioning back to natural. As you know, I relax my hair, but I cannot do it. Like, I either would always have relaxed hair and relax every time I lose my hair or just stick with having natural hair because yeah um to make hair in this country is not for the week 
and I know how to make my own hair, but I don't like to make my own hair. I don't like to make my own hair. I don't like to make people's hair. I don't like hair. Like, literally, I do not like hair. So I'm really contemplating if I should cut my hair, and I actually eventually cut my hair. But at the end of the day, despite all this comparison, would I go back to Belarus? Nope. 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 Like, Belarus itself is a country that takes and takes and takes and takes and takes from you. It doesn't give. This country is a country that it takes but it gives. Like, Belarus for me was, the hardship is too much. Her life is just too much. I love my friends that are there. And basically, my friends are not Belarusians, so they're Nigerians. I, I will not recommend. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you want to study medicine, of course, go to Belarus. But if you have the money, don't go. <laughs> you have money, don't go. But life is easy there, things are affordable, blah, 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 but nope, I will not go there. Like, funny enough, I was to go back to Belarus to get some things, and I was like, yeah, I would go back, because I have my PR, and I was like, nope, ain't going nowhere. What? Nope. Mm -mm. I'm not going back. Like, I like this country. I've not, I've not been sick, but yeah, that's even another thing. I've not been sick. But like every simple sickness, like common cold, headache, because I have frequent headaches, like don't even play with my head. Like, I don't know why I have frequent headaches. But yeah, things like that, there is over-the-counter drugs. Like literally, there's a store downstairs in almost every apartment. It's called Jaka. And my Jaka sells drugs. It has Strepsil, it has ibuprofen, it has paracetamol, it has... I'm telling you, every over-the-counter drugs they have is one thing. That those are some things I like about here. What else? I love my apartment, guys. Oh, although my apartment in Belarus is really cute, but yeah, I love this apartment and everything. And what else? What else? Oh, Netflix, guys. The accessibility of movies. <laughs> I know I look crazy, but yes, like having access to so many series I didn't have access to. Although I don't have friends on my laptop, which makes me sad, but it doesn't really matter, guys. It doesn't really matter. And yeah, I think like, oh my god, sending money, talking about money again, sending money. Money has been so easy for me. Like literally, yesterday I had a transfer from a family member from the US and it entered my phone ASAP. Ah! beautiful beautiful you did not tell me this was what life was like beautiful so yeah the ease in getting money is just exceptional for me i love it i love it i love it and if you want to know the apps i use for getting money is i use um remitly like remitly world remit and i think payson those three apps are really good in sending and receiving money so yeah that's one big thing and then like yeah my rice is bubbling so let me go and wash it and let's go
So guys, this is my food. It looks so good. <laughs> and yeah. Mm. So guys, <laughs> as I said, I'm watching Princess and the Papa, and I want to finish it. Barbie Princess and the Papa because it's your girl Barbie. So guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and keep coming back for other videos. I'll see you guys next week. And next week I'll start like filming a video. Probably any video you want to see, I'll film it down below. I love you guys. I love you guys that subscribe. I love you guys for tuning into my content. And tell me what you think. Do you think that you know you would rather be in Poland or in Belarus? You can go to the two countries and see what's about. But maybe it could be because I was not in the capital city in Belarus, maybe that's why I'm comparing it to the capital city in Poland, but yeah. I know that many cities in this country they're still banging, so that ain't an excuse. So guys, bye. Love you. Mwah.